So I'm James Stroud from Stroud Homes. I'd like to introduce Trevor Mulholland, uh, who is the Stroud Builder for Rockhampton and Yapoon. Trevor, tell us a little bit about your background in building. Well, I first started building um, 28 years ago. When you did your apprenticeship? Um, when I did my apprenticeship, yeah, with a, yeah. With a local builder. Um, um, we, I built my first family home when I was 19. Wow, that's and that's Yeah, yourself. that's early. And then I, I've done three houses together um, with my wife. Tell me a bit about your family. How many kids do you have and the ages and all that? Yeah, right, James. I have four children. Um, I had four under five years old. Wow. And um, yeah, it was a bit of a job. Like so I had you're a good used wife. to being a busy man? Yeah, I'm used to busy and um, doing more than one thing at a time. Um, now they've all left home, grown up, and I've got grandbabies. Wow, well done. Yeah. Trevor, what role does your wife Chrissy fill in the business? And my wife Chrissy, she started off in sales and she still does a little bit of sales, but now she's gone to a contract admin um, position um, and being trained there. Um, she's awesome, she fills in all the little bits that I can't fill in and she's got an eye for things that I can't see as well. When did you get your builder's license? Yeah, 12 years ago I got my builder's license um, and yeah, started building then on the coast here. Yeah. And you started talking to us about probably a year ago with up here? Right? Yeah, about a year ago I started talking to Stroud Homes. I just wanted to go to the next level and uh, I knew there was something missing um, in my building, um, what I needed to learn um, as well as working for other builders. Um, just processes and things that they didn't have they pretending they had them, but they didn't have them. So yeah. once I got in there, I worked out they didn't have anything. It was all. So would it be fair to say that you, you're very motivated to um, solve some of the problems that you saw at building companies that you worked at? Very motivated to solve problems um, that I've seen in other building companies and in my own. Um, and that was one of the reasons um, I signed up with Stroud. So what's your favorite thing to do when you just want to kind of relax and get away from your computer in the business for a moment? So when I need a bit of a break from my computer um, or from the business, I just go and jump on my electric skateboard longboard and fly down the concrete beachfront. There's a big boardwalk there. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it's, it's a very beautiful spot. Eh? Yeah, it is beautiful. When people see the graphics on your ute, their reaction is? Um, yeah, they definitely turn and and look, kids love it. Kids want to come up to my car just to see the zebra, yeah. That's cool. The team atmosphere at Stroud Homes is? The, the team atmosphere amongst the Stroud builders is high energy, a lot of focus and encouraging. That's what I would say. So let's have a think. What is your, probably your favorite plan at Stroud Homes? And what is it that caught your eye about the first time? My favorite plan with Stroud Homes would be the Wildflower 256. It's just, it's that simple, but it amazes you. The first time you go through it, it's just open and you keep walking around thinking, is there more to this house? And then you'll see something more. And it just, it seems much bigger than what it really is. And that just really opened my eyes up. And I thought, I've seen the plan a lot of times before, but it wasn't until I walked through it that I was like gobsmacked, I suppose. What else do you think a family in Yapoon would like to know about you? I love building and I love family and I put those things together and I'm a happy man. It's probably hard to put in words but it's that feeling of confidence that you can be able to deliver a good home. People ask questions about the 16 week build time and then I tell them it's because of all the great systems that Stroud Homes have that I'm able to do that. It's the programs and systems and things like that that help me from the start to the finish. And that's what gives me the confidence. So let's talk about house and land packages. Um, if someone moved to uh, the rocky Yapoon area mm -hmm. and they wanted to start looking at building a new home. So anybody that comes to Yapoon and is looking for house and land or wanting to build, they can come in and see our house and land packages. We've already done all the hard work. We've fitted the house to the block um, we've got everything ready for them to go so they can see what they're about to get and get a bit of an idea on what things cost as well. It's like a quote that's already ready yeah, before definitely. they even ask for it. Yeah, that's right. 
You know, Trevor, I hear that a lot of people are asking about houses with granny flats attached. What do you think that is? There has been a lot of people asking for bigger homes with granny flats because they don't want to stick their older loved ones in homes. Yeah. It's a cheaper solution, I think, and you can keep, keep your loved ones close. Excellent. How good is that? Yeah. Uh, I hear your business is going great. I see these pictures of this zebra. What does the zebra mean? What's the zebra all about? Well, the zebra is all about everything being in black and white. That everything on our boats is itemized and there for you to see. So when someone visits your uh, des design centre in Yapoon, Trevor, what would they find? If you come into my display office, you'll find lots of plans all ready to go. House land packages, um, great sales team, beautiful kitchen, brochures. You've, you've got all the parts of the house there, stone, uh, electrical fittings, plumbing options. Everything, everything you would need to select into your new home. And I see that you also have a, an option there to do video walkthroughs of multiple display homes, multiple Stroud homes. Yeah, we homes. definitely do. We, if you go on our site, you can see and walk through a lot of our houses. When are you guys going to do a display home? James, I can't wait to open a display home. Um, we're thinking about doing our first one, the Wildflower 256, maybe in Edenbrook or in Rocky somewhere. We're not sure exactly where yet. Um, early next year or mid next year. That's super exciting. Yeah, I can't wait.